I'm Paula Nutting, your musculoskeletal specialist, and today's video is addressing shoulder pathologies and where the humerus or that upper arm bone is sitting in, in the glenohumeral space. We see conditions that uh, people come in with complaining of shoulder, complaining of elbow and of wrist and hand. And today I'm going to show you a great muscle energy technique that's going to help put the humerus back where it belongs. The shoulder complex, as the name suggests, is quite complex. We have many muscles attaching at the anterior portion of the body in the chest that attaches at the anterior portion of the humerus. We also have muscles that are attached at the scapula and some come above but we have a few that will come under and attach again at the front portion of that upper arm bone. When any of these muscles have become dysfunctional and shortened, what they do is they actually pull the humerus forward, which then butts on our glenohumeral space. As you can see with Roz, I can drop my thumb quite deeply, sink deeply until I can find her humerus, which is suggesting that it is in fact way too far forward. And she does complain of common symptoms of pain that will radiate up into the neck and down as far to the elbow and hand. Today, we're going to do an amazingly simple muscle energy technique that will lengthen some of these attachments and bring the humerus back into the glenohumeral joint where it belongs. Okay, the position I've got Roz right now is with my fingers at the back at the top of her humerus and my thumb comes over the top and again rests on the humerus. So sliding down until I've got a good firm position. So as I'm compressing down, pushing the top end of the humerus down to the table, I'm actually elevating with the other hand at her elbow. And what that's doing is it's doing it like a seesawing or a pivoting action that helps gently move the humerus in the capsule. It can be quite tender, so you, I don't want to be too hard on her. When I feel a nice end range, which I have now, all she's doing is pushing her elbow down to the floor. So down she's pushing and she's holding that nice and strong for about 10 seconds and then relaxing as she's taking that lovely big breath in. So we're going to rock back and forward and it will feel a lot softer after about a minute of this. Okay, pressing down again and Roz is pushing her elbow down to the floor, down towards my ankles. She's taking a big breath in and relaxing on the out breath. And already I can feel her shoulder a little softer in the joint. When you apply that technique, try to use it for at least three of those muscle energy contractions. The tip is holding it for about seven seconds Add about 30 to 40 percent of their effort, get them to take a big cleansing breath and when they breathe out that's when they stop contracting. Do it at least three times because that's the best way to get good change in the capsule. You'll get wonderful relief for a lot of people that have shoulder pain that radiates up the neck and down the arm. I'm Paula Nutting, your musculoskeletal specialist. Mm -hmm.